everyone and welcome back to Aloha Jen's beauty blog. For those of you that are new here, hi, my name is Jen and I am a licensed esthetician in the state of California. Well, welcome to this very special video. Today is Tuesday, October 31st. It is Halloween, so happy Halloween to all of you that celebrate. Um, I'm off from work today. I worked yesterday and I wanted to do something with my skin today. And the reason being is it's like overnight, like all the moisture here has been completely sucked out of the air and my face is so dehydrated. <laughs> I'm so dehydrated because yesterday at work, it was so cold, we had to have the heater on. It's just like all the moisture has been sucked out of my skin. And you know, I sleep with a humidifier on in the evenings and then I also have a personal humidifier at work, but yesterday I couldn't run it because it just had so much action at the front that people were commenting on it, so I had to turn it off. So we're going to do a facial today with all of my favorite devices and that I truly believe in and seen a difference in my skin and I love. And one of those is going to be the Dermadisc. I love the Dermadisc. It's made such a big difference in my skin. I highly recommend it and put it on your Black Friday wish list. Now, I'm not for sure if Artist Skincare will be having a Black Friday sale, but it's definitely something I would put on my list. It's $300 now. When I picked it up, it was $395 with three tips. Now it's $300 with four tips. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do some red LED light therapy and we're going to use the Pico Toner. Now, I did something this morning. <laughs> so I hurt my neck and my shoulder and I've been in so much pain and I have so much going on in my fascia on my um, left side here and it's my left side of my neck that it's really, really killing me. I'm doing some block therapy and it's been helping relieve that pain, but I haven't been paying attention to my body like how I should. Now, Neurotris and Jane Mann collaborated together and they came out with the Jane Mann Lift Unit 2, okay? So it's a special edition for 2023. Only 50 units were made and that's just like the original, um, uh, the original Jane Man Lift unit, they only made 50 units, okay? So they remade it and they made it better. So I'm gonna tell you about what's special with this unit. So I got, I saw that Neurotris posted about this on um, Instagram and I was like, okay, well, I already have the Pico Toner. I don't need this unit. But then I got the email this morning and they only have 37 units left. And I clicked the um, link for the introduction video and I watched the four, I think it's four videos on this unit. And what sold me on the device was watching Jane with using P1 with the gloves. So P1 in the lift unit is a 60 minute program that addresses connective tissue and fascia release. And that's by Jane Mann. So D Tony and Jane Mann collaborated and created P1 on this unit. P2 is a 30 minute program that addresses toning and lifting and that's by Neurotris. So P2 on the new Jane Mann unit is exactly like P2 on the Pico Toner. So what's different between the Pico Toner and the Jane Man Lift Unit 2 is that P1 program, which this one does not have. This one has P1, which is for lifting and toning, and you have P2, which is for working in the skin and helping building skin density. It does work in the connective tissue, but not as much as this P1 um, program on the Jane Man Lift unit. It also helps with lymphatic drainage. So this unit is specifically for working in the fascia. And 
Watching Jane go in and doing the massage with P1 with the gloves for this new lift unit sold me because I have so many adhesions and if I could have a microcurrent device to help while I'm doing my block therapy and treating my skin at the same time, it would be so easy for me. So I ordered one <laughs> and I'm so excited for it because when you watch the P1 program with Jane Mann using it with the gloves, if you look at her skin, just the health of her skin and what her facial structure looks like after doing this program, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Like the glow, the healthiness of it. So if you have the Pico Toner on your wish list and the Jane Man Lift Unit, this is a awesome deal. So this would normally go for $1,000. They have it at a special price of $690. So the Pico Toner is $595 alone and the Jane Man Lift Unit is $390, okay? So what comes with this is you get the special edition 2023 um, toner device, which is the Jane Man Lift Unit 2, and it is white. I put a picture up here for you guys. You get two of the Pico Toner accessory port cables. So I'll show you what those look like. You get two of these cords. You get the Omna, Omna Lift Probe with the cable, a uh, ball cable and direct connect toolkit. An eight ounce bottle of conductive gliding gel. One pair of the silver threaded sculpting gloves. This, this one right here. You get a hundred of the poly gloves, which is 50 pairs. And I don't think I have those in here. And that's to use inside your gloves. You get a four ounce bottle of the ion spray. So I have the ion spray. And what this is, it's water sodium chloride, um, which is pink salt, propendiol, glycerin, and a couple of other ingredients I can't use. Now I've tried this and the one thing I don't like about this is that it's the salt. So if you have any um, like open wounds on your skin or if your skin has been, has been, has an abrasion on it, you will feel this sting. I don't like this after um, the dermatist treatment because it makes my skin stingy, but it is great to use on your body. And since it has the salt in there, there's conduction in it. So you get one of these. You get your wrist strap for the Pico toner or for the, the unit, and then you'll get um, a silver carrying bag. And also they have a quick start guide with online QR code for training videos. You get customer support and one year limited device warranty. So it's a great deal. And if you're thinking about getting the Pico toner, and you already, you know, you love working in your fascia, you're diligent about working your fascia and you want to take it up to the next level, I would definitely pick this unit up. I picked it up mainly for that P1 program. Like just watching that video, I was totally sold. Um, and you can use this on the body too. So the Pico Toner and the Jane Man Lift units are both cleared medically to use on your body all over. You can use it on your neck, you can use it on your chest. You can use it on your arms, your tummy, your bum, your legs. You can use it all over. They both go up to a thousand microamps. And the reason being is you're not going to use those thousand microamps on your face, your neck, or your chest, but you can use it on your body because our body requires more microamps to make a difference in the muscle tone. Okay. So pretty amazing. So I ordered that, so looking for look for that to come. Now, as you guys know, I put my Pico Toner away and we're gonna use it. <clears throat> the Pico Toner is my favorite microcurrent device. Now, I love my Pico Toner so much. It is not a purchase that I regret. I love it, I see a difference in my skin. This is the first microcurrent device that I've used on my skin and my client's skin 
that I actually truly see a noticeable difference, not only in their overall face, but their skin and their skin health. This will give you truly healthy skin. Tony is a genius when it comes to his microcurrent technology. It is a dynamic microcurrent technology that is patented and nobody else can copy it, okay? I don't care what they say. <laughs> it's nothing like Neurotris. And Neurotris microcurrent is like, it's like a pure energy. What I've noticed is that every time I use my Pico toner, I feel so good compared to other devices that I've used in the past, including my Zip. So there's just something about this current, like my body loves it, it receives it, and it makes me feel good all over. And it doesn't just make my skin look good, it makes me feel good. It's definitely worth every single penny in my opinion. And those of you who've picked up the Pico Toner on my recommendation, you've all reached out to me and you've thanked me. You love your Pico Toner so, so much. And I am so happy to hear that. Now, Neurotris Pico Toner 2 is what I recommend or look into this new Jane Man Lift Unit. Now, I don't know when mine's gonna get here. I was hoping maybe it might ship out today. <laughs> as soon as it gets here, we will definitely play with it. Now, my other microcurrent device that I love, and this is for those of you who find that the Pico Toner is too intrusive, too cumbersome to use. And that is the Zip Halo. Now, the Zip Halo isn't my microcurrent device of choice because it doesn't do everything that I want it to do. The Pico Toner is multifunctional. I can use it for product penetration. I can use it to help heal my skin after an aggressive exfoliation. I can use it on my body. I can use it all over my neck and my chest. It's so multifunctional with different attachments. The Zip is just one device with multiple programs and it is app-based. The only program in the Zip that is not app-based is the Lift program, which every time you finish your treatment, the Zip Halo will go back to that Lift program, which is pre-programmed in here. The only way you can change it is you have to use your app and program your Zip at the time of treatment for a different program. My favorite thing about the Zip is that it's great for a quick treatment. Like when I don't have enough time, I can just pick it up and do a treatment in four minutes and I'm good to go. It's also very nice to travel with because it's so tiny and very convenient where the Pico Toner is easy to travel with too. It's very tiny. And the thing is, is that you have to figure out which attachments you want to take with you and travel with. I mean, it's very easy to do the gloves. My thing with using it with just the gloves is that I have very sensitive skin and the gloves can be a bit scratchy on the skin when it comes to using them all the time. Once in a while is not is okay, but if my skin is compromised, I do not use the gloves on my face but it is very easy to use. And the other thing about the Pico Toner is it's not app based and you just use a battery for the power. You don't have to worry about plugging it into the wall. You don't have to worry about the battery going bad in it. You can send it to Neurotris to have it fixed. So that's the thing. So I do love the Zip. I think it is a great handheld device and it works both in your skin and in your muscles, okay? But there's no like special way to get in there and really treat the fine lines and wrinkles and the fascia with this device because you're tied to these two probes and you can't separate them to really get in there and do some detailed work. Also, when you are doing your lift, you don't have anything over the top of that current to really make a truly lasting lift. It's all gonna be coming from accumulated treatments with the zip, okay? And that's just if you were to use this as your full-time device. 
So that's where I love the zip, but if I had to choose one, it would be the Pico Toner all the way. Now, Foreo Bear just released their Foreo Bear 2. And that looks like an interesting microcurrent device. I think there's four different microcurrents in there. And if you're looking for a microcurrent handheld device that is just basically all about lifting and toning that is not app based, that might be something for you to look at, look into. I know my friend Darcy from the Brazilian Girl Channel really loves the Foreo Bear and it looks so easy to use, so easy um, to handle um, and it's got some options on it. So that might be something that you guys might want to look into. So, but I personally would recommend the Pico Toner with the Jane Man Lift Probe. This is phenomenal. And even if you don't have a Pico Toner, you have like another microcurrent device such as the Mitama or the Nitama or a Mile Lift device, you can use the Jane Man Lift with that which is so convenient, but this has changed the way I perform microcurrent and it's like my favorite, favorite way to perform it, favorite microcurrent tool to have. And I suggest that everyone who loves their microcurrent and has a device that they can use this with to pick it up. And I'm gonna show you an easy way to get in a good lifting session with doing minimal work with this probe today, okay? And it's gonna make such a huge difference. So my other favorite tool that I recommend and I love is actually the Lemieux Skin Perfector, especially for those of you who have large pores. This tool is absolutely amazing. We're not gonna use this today because I used this a couple weeks ago to do some extractions in the areas where I have large pores to clean them out. And I have to tell you, it made such a huge difference in my skin. Extractions are so important. If you can see your pores, you need extractions. The reason being is that they fill up with dirt and oil and debris and the more that they fill up, they can actually get enlarged. And if you leave that dirt and that debris and those oils in there, it can cause the pore to stretch. And pores don't really, you know, open and close like everybody says. They can stretch. And if that debris has been in your pore for some time and you remove it, it will remain large for a while, if not forever, okay? And the only way you can get those pores fixed is sometimes, depending on how stretched out the pore is, they can do surgery by cutting away that section of the skin. Who wants to do that? Not me. So then what is a blackhead? It's all that dirt and oil that has oxidized in that pore. We all get them around our nose right in through here, we'll get them in our forehead. And the reason being is that the nose and the forehead protrude a little bit um, more from the face versus your cheeks do. And so we all have larger pores in this area because that's where the most oil is produced. Because if the oil didn't produce, especially on your nose, as much as it does since it protrudes, it would shrivel up. <laughs> so this is excellent for doing your extractions at home and keeping your pores very clean. It's so powerful. You can be so gentle with it. There's minimal pushing on the skin to get those blackheads out. If it's ready to come out, it will just pop out. And sometimes like you'll go along your nose and you'll see those extractions pop out like popcorn. It's just the, it's so much fun if you love doing extractions and if you're an esthetician. But this is the one that I recommend for at-home use. Put this on your Black Friday list if you don't have one, it is phenomenal. So not only do you use it for extractions, but you can use it to exfoliate your skin and you can use it for product penetration as well. But I personally love it for those extractions. <laughs> it did such an awesome job on my extractions. My, the other device that I know you guys know I love and we're gonna use today is actually the Derma Disc from Artist Skin Care. I spoke about this a little bit. My Omna, I cannot live without my Jane Man Omna. 
Another one that I have been loving for when I want a quick product penetration is the Medicube Glow Booster H. I have been loving this device so much. It's so easy, it's so convenient. I just wish you could use it on the center of your neck and your chest, but you can't. But it really works and helps with product penetration. And one of the main reasons why I love this is that you can use it over your moisturizer too, and you can use it over a thin sheet mask. You can't use it over a thicker sheet mask like a biocellulose sheet mask like the Lemieux Pro Firm mask, but it is a favorite of mine and I continue to use it like every day. <laughs> I love it to grab it for a quick product penetration of my Victoria Deanne peptides in the morning. And I use it with the Joella Capture Youth Water. And then the evenings, if I don't have time to use the Pico Toner for product penetration, I'll reach for that or when I'm tired and lazy. Now, my other favorite device, this has become a favorite device for me. So, excuse my little arm there. <laughs> So this is the Frared Beauty. This is their Lux Glow LED Light Mask. So this is what I have been reaching for for my LED light therapy. Now this has three modes or three lights. We have red with near infrared, we have blue and we have orange light. And you can use all three of them separately or you can do an auto mode that will run through each light for a certain amount of time. What I love about this mask is you have control over the light intensity. You have low, medium, and high. You have three times. You have a 15 minute treatment, a 20 minute treatment, and a 30 minute treatment. And how I go about that with the intensity is if I'm doing 15 minutes, I put it at high intensity. If I'm doing 20 minutes, I put it at medium intensity. And then if I'm doing it at 30 minutes, I put it on a low intensity. And that's available on all three lights. But I love the controller because you can see the time. It's so convenient to use and easy. But what I also love about this mask is there is a lot of lights on it and it's big enough to where it hits your neck and this first part of your chest. And it also has these inserts that you could put instead of put in instead of wearing goggles. I will tell you that these inserts can kind of press into your nose a bit, depending on how tight you have the mask on. But it is a pretty big mask. <coughs> We're gonna use this today. But I've been getting great results with this mask. And the price is only $229. If you're looking at getting an LED light mask and you want to try it to see if it's right for you, this is an affordable price point compared to the others. And it's a way to see if red and near infrared is right for you. I wish that they would have the red separate from the near infrared, but they do not. And I have to tell you, I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever causing any sort of inflammation in my skin. I do notice that it does work a bit faster than my Aduro. I still love my Aduro face and neck piece. And I just was testing this out. And you know, the Aduro, it has seven colors, 11 functions, but it is a 20 minute treatment. This one is 15, 20, or 30. And I just noticed that I think that this one, for me, it seems to be a bit more powerful on the red and near infrared. And that's probably because it is near infrared, which is slightly more powerful than infrared. Now, if you have skin that is prone to hyperpigmentation or you have melasma, I would avoid any um, LED light mask that you put on that is laying against your skin because that is going to trigger that hyperpigmentation and that melasma. You want something to where you can hold it away from your skin like a panel or a handheld device. Now there's mixed reviews out there with the current body and the Omnilux mask about them causing 
their pigmentation and melasma to get worse. And, and they're both near infrared and red infrared. And that's because it's directly on the skin and directly on the skin it does create a lot of heat under the skin, which is a trigger for hyperpigmentation and melasma. And that's where you'd wanna get a panel. And a panel you have the most panels, I know with Huga, Mito, and the new Mysama um, panel, you have the option to turn off the near infrared. So those are my current favorite devices and tools. These are the ones that I love and that I recommend for everyone. And I wanted to share it with you. I'm not into radio frequency anymore. My skin looks so much better since I've given it up and you know have been repairing it with the Victoria Deanne peptides. The Victoria Deanne peptides are just amazing. They truly work. It's the first products that I've used on my skin to where I see a noticeable change in my skin. And it's amazing. <laughs> and I, I notice a difference in my skin with Adipo too, by the way. But Victoria Deanne is a game changer. Now, if you are using the Victoria Deanne peptides, I highly recommend picking up this Capture Youth Water from Joella Milan. I have been in love with this since the moment it arrived. It really helps your Victoria Deanne peptides penetrate better into the skin and also takes them a step up. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. I've been addicted to it. <laughs> I use it twice a day. <laughs> I probably use this more than I should, but I just really love what it do it's doing for my skin, along with the Victoria Deanne peptides. Now, let me tell you something. Um, I went to go place my Victoria Deanne order and they were sold out of all the kits. <laughs> so they're sold out of all the kits. I believe they're sold out of um, Lift and Tone and the Rejuvenators. So you guys have been um, loving these peptides as much as I do, hey? <laughs> I was like shocked and I hope that I have enough of my Rejuvenator and my Lift and Tone to last me for two weeks because the ETA for the kids to be back in stock isn't until November 13th. <laughs> so you guys have been like um, buying out all of Joella's stock, I think. <laughs> so I was so nervous that you guys were going to make her sell out of the Capture Youth Water. I ordered another 16 ounce bottle and I ordered um, her lift, uh, her neck lift mask. So we'll do a video on that. So I'm gonna go off camera. I'm going to work in my fascia first, and then we're gonna come back for the dermatist treatment. I have to work in my fascia because I am hurting. I am, I am in so much pain right now, you can't see it. Like my posture really is suffering right now because I have this, this whole side from my neck all the way down into my shoulder into my rotator cuff and the front of my shoulder. It, it's hurting me so bad that I cannot sit up straight right now. And so this doesn't look as good, but I'm gonna come back and show you, um, you can see my skin after I've cleansed it. I'm red too, because I took Misha for a walk. I went for a walk, so my cheeks are really rosy. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get all nice and prepped and then we'll come back for this treatment. Okay, I am back. So I just got out of the shower. My skin's been dry for a few minutes. So I'm gonna go in with my medium disc on the Dermadisc treatment. And I'm just gonna start using this on my skin, just like how I always do. And I just go over each section two times, letting the weight of the tool do the work. I'm not using any pressure on my own. I'm not digging into my skin. I haven't done the dermatist treatment for, I think, almost a month. <laughs> 
Uh, it's much needed. I can always tell when I haven't done this treatment for a while. It's like the texture starts to get a little gritty. So I use the medium disc on very bone dry skin. And then I'm gonna go in with the Botnia Essential Enzymes and then go in with the derma disc on the fine disc. And what I use to cleanse my skin, it's over there, but I use the Botnia Renewing Face Wash. So we're gonna have a little bit of change of plans here for my treatment today, because I kinda just got short on time. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do my derma disc treatment with you guys. And then after my derma disc treatment, I'm gonna remove the Botnia essential enzymes. And I'm going to apply the Botnia, what is it? Their soothing repair mask. I have to use this up. I was gonna do the Lemieux sheet mask, the Pro Firm sheet mask, but with the red LED light therapy, but I have to do some things in between and I just don't have that 15 minutes. I want to spend that with you guys with the Pico toner. So I still have my little hyperpigmentation spot. It's lightening up, but I always just like to go over it separately again with the derma disc. So now I'm going to do my lip. So for those of you that have been asking me for a microneedling video, um, so for me with my skin, what I notice is it's just not a fan of microneedling, not even cosmetic microneedling. I just notice every time I do it, my skin looks worse after. And so what works for me is actually the dermatitis treatment. And I think that the reason why microneedling doesn't work for my skin is because I'm sensitive and my skin is thin. And I've noticed that a lot of people lately who do microneedling, especially medical microneedling, and they have thin skin, I just noticed that their skin is looking worse over time. Like I'm not seeing a difference in their skin. It does not look any better to me. And it actually looks like they have more wrinkles and their skin looks thinner, like they're losing the density. I think that cosmetic microneedling would be best for them and that is sticking to nothing over 0.25 with a needle. For me, 0.3 is like medical microneedling and my skin just does not like it. So I stopped. Like I said, I don't really notice that much of a difference in my skin with microneedling. I notice more of a difference with using the Pico toner, my derma disc, and my red LED light therapy for collagen induction. Test it out and let me know what you think. I've just been noticing oh, there's a lot of popular YouTubers on here that always do microneedling, and I just don't really notice that their skin looks any better. Sometimes I think it looks worse than what it did before. And it looks so thin. All right, so there's the medium disc. So I'm gonna pop that off, and I will have to tell you that on my fine disc, there's like a flaw in it. It's like something, my disinfectant kind of got through the metal of this one, and I used the same disinfectant. I used the Effordent. It didn't have any effect on the medium tip, but it did on the fine tip. So we'll have to see. It didn't do anything to the diamonds, but just on the outside, it lost its shine. So I'm gonna have to probably get a new fine disc somehow. All right, so I'm going in with the Botnia Essential Enzymes, and I'm just going to put a light layer of this on my skin. 
Now, when you use this, you want to make sure that you have a mist nearby because you want the enzymes to continue to work. So once they dry on the skin, they stop eating those dead skin cells. Now, I love the Botnia Essential Enzymes. They're a favorite for me for enzymes and exfoliating because they're really gentle on the skin, but yet effective. Um, great for those of us who have sensitive skin. If you are looking for something more aggressive, I would recommend the Osmosis Polish Enzyme Mask, but not with this treatment. I would recommend it on its own. Um, and the <clears throat> Neogenesis Enzyme Mask, which you could use with this treatment. But if you have sensitive skin, I would say just be careful with that because it is a pretty aggressive treatment. So I'm going to take my Lemieux Essence Toner and keep that off to the side. And then we're gonna just go in with the fine disc. I turn my derma disc on. Oh no, did the battery die? Did the battery die? Oh shoot, nope, there it goes, okay. So this I don't have to worry about holding my skin taut. Now you can either go out or from the inside out like I am, or you can do little circles. It's whatever you like and whatever you feel that is best for your skin. I like to do go from the inside out because I do have sensitive thin skin and I feel like I have more control using the Dermidus this way versus doing the circles. If I do the circles, I might go over an area just a little bit too much. drying out. So I'm going to mist my face. I'm actually going to wipe my dermatisc off a little bit and then just head over here. You see how fast and easy this treatment is? And you can use this all over your neck and your chest. The vibration will not affect any dental implants or any devices implanted in your body. Okay, so now let's work the chest area. Make sure you get your collarbones. So I like to do this treatment in the evening so that I can just let everything soak into my skin that we do after and I don't have to worry about putting on makeup or any SPF after. Okay. So there we are, we're done. See how quick that was? So we're just gonna set my mirror over here. Next I have my wet cloth. 
and I'm just going to remove those essential enzymes from my skin. They remove so easy from the skin. Oops, got my hair there. Go for one round. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is, since we're going to do microcurrent, and I'm going to have to wash these essential enzymes off my skin before we do microcurrent because they do have some oils in it and leave a residue on the skin to where it will block the microcurrent. I'm going to just straight up Go in with my Botnia Soothing Repair Mask. This is a wonderful mask. It's very soothing. It plumps your skin. It just nourishes it with a bunch of hydration. And it's perfect to use after an aggressive exfoliation because it's going to help calm and soothe the skin and hydrate it instantly. And hydration is key after an aggressive exfoliation because since you have all that new skin coming to the surface after removing that dead skin anytime you do an aggressive exfoliation you just have to flood your skin with a bunch of hydration otherwise it's going to become dry dehydrated and cause additional in inflammation in the skin and we don't want to cause any additional inflammation into the skin because inflammation is what results in aging okay all right so i'm going to leave this on my skin for a bit and then we're going to come back and we're going to do my victoria dm peptide application i'm going to show you the peptides i'm going to implement into this routine to help repair my skin and restore it. And we're gonna um, penetrate those in with the Pico Toner. So I will see you in a sec. So I'm on a limited time here um, for this first part of the Pico Toner. My husband has to come in and use the restroom and I don't want it to be through my mid treatment. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to do my application of my Victoria DM peptides that I'm gonna to use to help repair my skin after that exfoliation. So I'm gonna take a cotton round and go in with my Joella Capture Youth Water. I'm gonna take two pumps and I just squirted one out because I'm like rushing and I apologize for that. So I saturate the cotton round and I like to go over my skin after I cleanse and I go all over my eyes everywhere to make sure that I have removed that cleanser from my skin. It's very, very important. I was gonna do my hair, but when we get to the lift portion of the Pico Toner, I wanna show you this one movement that involves using your scalp and it will work really good if you have wet hair because I wet hair is a conductor because of all the minerals in it okay so we went with that next i'm going to spray the capture youth water onto my skin and massage it okay and you want to give it a good tug those cotton rounds that i have are kind of cheap they're just they're old i use them to remove my toenail polish and i have to get some new ones so what I like to do is, you, Joella says you have to really massage this into the skin with some friction to get those ions activated. This really has helped the penetration of the Victoria DM peptides. So I would definitely recommend that you guys pick this up. I really love it. I really love what it's doing for my skin too. It definitely feels firmer and tighter. And I noticed that my eye area, like on my eyelids and around my eyes, it's less crepey. So you can use this water with your microcurrent treatment too. 
it will um, conduct microcurrent because it does have minerals in it. So I did put that on before my um, microcurrent gel, I'm putting it on before my Victoria Dion peptides, but we will be using the Lemieux O2 um, calming gel. And with this, you do need a spray that has minerals in it to help it conduct it to, this, to the muscles for microcurrent. So now that my skin is dry, we're gonna go in with Pepti Lift. So Pepti Lift and Pepti Tone are always my base peptides. Starting with one drop, and I really hope that my Pepti Lift and Tone and my Rejuvenator last me for two weeks, maybe even three. I might run out because they have no more in stock. So I really hope these last me. <laughs> I almost forgot that I was applying the peptides and thinking I was applying the capture youth water there. So I do two drops on my neck, two drops on my chest because it is a larger area. And then on my face, I do one drop for my forehead in this area, one drop underneath here, and one drop for this area. And then I like to massage them in. Okay, so they're fully absorbed into my skin. And since we did that Dermandis treatment, these are absorbing into my skin pretty fast. So next we're gonna go into Pepti Tone. And remember, you always wanna wait one to two minutes in between application. And if it's freshly exfoliated skin, I say you can do one minute. But if you haven't exfoliated for a couple days, you wanna lean closer to two minutes. Now I'm taking one drop of Pepti Tone and I'm applying it to my forehead. I forgot to have you guys check out my skin. Shoot, I keep forgetting to do that. My skin looks so good. I'm telling you, nine weeks in and I am over the moon happy. I've never used anything that has been this remarkable in changing my skin, honestly. So I do regret, kind of regret not using the Pico toner as frequently as what I would have liked to um, because I think it would have helped boosted my results, but I'm going to change that and start using my microcurrent more frequently or being consistent with it. It's just that I have been so stressed and I've been so tired just from all the stress I've been under that I'm just not using my microcurrent as frequently as what I would like to. But for November, that is going to change. And I have to tell you, I just have the hardest time bringing myself to do 30 days with the zip um, because I love my Pico toner so much and I love what it does for my neck and my chest, and I can't use the zip fully on my neck and my chest. That, that's the reason why I have such a hard time using it as a full-time microcurrent device. Don't get me wrong, I love it, and I think it's a great microcurrent device, but it's just not gonna do everything that I want it to do. <laughs> So I bought that as, you know, like a travel diet device or a quick treatment. And to test for those of you who are looking into it for your sole microcurrent device. All right, so that's tone. So next what we're gonna get to go into is Pepti Pro Call. So I'm focused on building that collagen and repairing my skin and making that collagen stronger and also hydration. So lift and toner my base. I'm gonna go in with Procol, Pepti Repair, 
and then Pepti Hyaluronic. These are my favorites to use after a treatment like this and to infuse the skin for microcurrent or LED light therapy after a treatment like this. So that pro call, I was able to take all the way on my forehead, on the sides and underneath my eyes and on my nose with that one drop. So I'm taking one drop again and this I'll be able to use for the other half of my face. Where Pepti Tone and Lift I used more because they're the first peptides to go on to my skin. And you will always use more of those two. For, and then as you apply more, you will use less drops. And the Joella Capture Youth Water really helps with you using the less drops too. Because once I added that in, that's when I noticed I could get by with one drop versus two drops per section or three drops per section. But with my neck and my chest, I always still use two drops because it's a larger area. All right, so that's pro call. All right, so we'll put pro call off to the side. See the time, okay. I think we'll have enough time to do P2 and then I'll have to stop and then we'll do P, um, P1 off. I'll, I'll do P, I have to come back and do P1 because my husband has to come in here soon. <laughs> so now I'm going into Pepti Repair and I'm taking one drop and this is on the thicker side compared to all the peptides. Pepti Repair is magic. Where you think that Neogenesis Recovery is magic after an aggressive exfoliation or your Dermadus treatment or microneedling, this I think is better. I think it works better. For my skin it does, and I was talking to my friend, and she actually likes it better too for her skin. But I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying. Now, this isn't an everyday peptide. This is for a compromised barrier or to use post-treatment. Um, you can use it with microneedling, post-laser, and any time that you feel like your barrier needs a little bit of extra repair. It's great to use with your um, beauty devices. Okay, that I used one drop. I'm gonna do two for my chest. This one goes a lot further because it's a little bit thicker of a formula compared to the other Pepti's. All right. Press what's left over onto my lips. So the last one we're going to apply is Pepti Hyaluronic. When I apply this, like in the bottle, I don't, it smells slight vinegar scent, but when I apply it to my skin, it smells like vinegar <laughs> just for a little bit. Oh, I got a piece of cotton on my hand from, was on that bottle from when I grabbed it. Pepti Hyaluronic is awesome to use with microcurrent, by the way. So this one, I not only do I like to put it all over, but I love to put it on my lips. Okay. 
Okay. My last two drops, and then we'll be done with the Pepti application. Let's see. All right, so I have like 15 minutes before my husband has to come in. Thanks. So I'm going to prep my skin or I'm going to prep my bowl with, I'm going to start, I'm going to put four pumps of the um, O2 Calming Gel by Lemieux. I have my lift ready, all hooked up to my Pico to Toner accessory cable. So that's right there. And then I have a mask brush. So what I'm gonna do first is um, I am gonna go in with the Joella Milan Capture Youth Water and I'm just going to massage this into my skin with the Peptis. So here's where those minerals are gonna come from. I do this every night after I apply my Peptis. I just spray the Capture Youth Water onto my skin. And then usually I'll go in with my Medicube Glow Booster H to penetrate them in or do a product penetration treatment with the Pico Toner using the gloves and work this all into my skin. All right, actually I'm gonna spray a little bit more on my chest. All right, so we're just gonna go in and prep the skin by doing the glides with P2. So here we go. All right, so I'm gonna start off by applying some of the O2 Calming Gel on my chest. And if you don't want to use the Joella Capture Youth Water for your microcurrent gel rehydration, that's where I would suggest the Lemieux Isocell Recovery Solution because the Joella Capture Youth Water is pretty pricey. So we're going in with P2 and I'm gonna put it at 30%. Still can't believe I only have one bar left on my battery. <laughs> I guess I used the Pico Toner more than I thought. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off here and I'm gonna do five glides. I'm moving up. This is my typical glide routine using P2 and the Jane Man lift. I just really love doing this because I just really love the way my skin looks after. It looks, looks so good. So, so, so good. And what's good about doing the P2 before your P1 is it's really going to prep all those tissues to receive a really nice lift and you won't have to put that much effort into it. 
And the lifting that I'm going to show you to, tonight with the Jane Man lift is so easy, it's ridiculous. Okay, so I'm gonna hover over my collarbone for a few seconds. I can't wait to get that lift unit too. Oh, my other favorite device is Or Lift. I have to start this. Um, so I have an idea. I was thinking I would love to start another series. What do you guys think? Um, I want to do like a move November where we all pick up, you know, a device and be consistent with it. Maybe it's your Pico toner. Maybe it's your, if you're using radio frequency, maybe it's your radio frequency. Just using a device that you'd like to be more consistent with and challenge ourselves to use it consistently. And then also like start a walking challenge and working on our fascia and our diet to prep us for the holidays. What do you guys think? I'm trying to think of what I'd like to do. I wanna do something like with Movember. So I know tomorrow is November 1st. I was thinking of starting this on Monday, November 6th. So let me know what you guys think. Give me some ideas and we can do it. So now I'm just gonna take the lift and just go up and down on my neck like this for that blood flow. And again, we're using program P2 which works in the skin to help build skin density, bring plumpness and radiance to the skin, also stimulates that lymphatic fluid, cellular metabolism, cellular energy. This will give your skin the most beautiful glow. And what I love about this program, after using it after the dermatis treatment, it really helps speed up the healing process. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lift and I'm just going to go out like this five times. Okay, I'll just do this side of the face. The beauty about this Lemieux O2 Calming Gel is that you won't have to remove this gel from the skin. You can leave it on. I will just wipe it off. I don't have to wash it off. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take these four and we're gonna focus here under the jawline. So I'm just going to, if there's a lot left on my skin, then I will take a damp cloth and remove that and then follow through with my Victoria Deanne Rejuvenator in medium. Next, I'm just taking the thumbs, gliding along my jawline. Next, I'm going to take these four and just hover here. These two on the center of my lips and these four over here on the side. We do a lot of movement with our lips. I just want to stimulate this to help release some fascia tension. I'm just going to glide it out to the side there. 
And then I'm gonna take these four, hover right here, and move out. Then I'm going to take these four, two underneath the eye, and one underneath the cheekbone, and glide out. Take the thumbs, and I like to go underneath my brow bone and just work on this area a little bit more since I have a lot of puffiness in my eyes. I'm hoping that once I try that Jane Man lift and get in there and massage my skin on that P1 program, that it's going to really help additionally with releasing those fascia adhesions to the bone along with doing block therapy. And we'll start to see some of that puffiness go away. You know, and that's another thing for like November is I wanna be, I wanna get back on being consistent with my block therapy. Like I want, I wanna do that 30 day upper body program. Like I started to do it. And then I just got to the point where I was so stressed that I just ran out of time and I should have stuck with it because it really would have helped me. I just got to learn not to let things get to me and deter me away from my goals. So next I'm going to do my forehead and we're just going to take as many of the fingers that will fit and then glide out. With my hair up in a towel, it's kind of a little bit difficult to get all the fingers on there. So I'm gonna take the thumbs and get the part I wasn't able to get. Just come up here and trace this area. Okay. Then I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to swoosh Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to drain out everything. Come up underneath my jaw again. I'm going to do three this way. Oops, and then I'm going to do three with the thumbs. Okay, then I'm going to take the whole unit and then just come down like this. And I'm going to work here and spray my isocell recovery solution. I'm getting to the bottom of this. Going to flush this all out. And then come up here and run over my collarbone a couple of times. Okay. Next, we're going to do this side. I just have to reapply the gel on my neck there. Okay. Well, 
Oh shit, Hamza's gonna have to come in. So I may have to stop this, but you guys get the gist of the treatment, so. All right, so I'm gonna go off camera and finish the rest of this, and then I will be back for the full lip treatment. So I'll see you in a few. Okay, so I went off camera and finished this side, and I just got finished, and my husband still hasn't come in, so you know what? I'm going in with P1 now, and I'm going to start out at 30%, and we're gonna start off on the jaw. We're gonna do one side for five minutes, and then we're gonna come over and do this side for five minutes, and then so on. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to start off with this side, just rehydrate my gel with the Lemieux Isocell Recovery Solution. And we're gonna take the Jane Man Lift, and we're just going to hover it here for one minute and 30 seconds, which is 90 seconds. Now, depending on your skin impedance, you may want, you can go higher or you can go lower. Now, the thing with microcurrent is you don't have to feel it to know that it's working. If you feel it and it feels uncomfortable, then turn the intensity down. If it's not uncomfortable, then you're fine. But anytime you get the muscle twitching or the muscle jerking, that means that the current is too high for you. Now, if you get the twitching or you feel it twitching, that's just a nerve. That is not muscle twitching from the current being too strong. But if it bothers you, turn down the intensity. So when you get, when we move this up to the cheek, we're gonna go over the buccinator right here and over the cheek, you may wanna bump it up to uh, by five or more because these are deeper muscles and they will, they will require a little bit more current. So I'm just using my Pico Toner uh, Timer as a guide. And now I'm going to bump it up to 35% and we're moving to the buccinator. And we're gonna hold it here for a minute and 30 seconds or 90 seconds. And this is all we're gonna be doing for lifting. We're just gonna be doing holds. So you don't really need to have a lot of gel on. This is where you could just rehydrate your gel. This is what makes the lift so special is you can just hold it over an area because you have the perfect amount of distance between the positive and negative that you don't need to worry about moving it. You don't have to worry about pinching and holding. Makes it so wonderful. Okay, so just a few, just 30 more seconds right here, and then we're gonna move up and hover over the cheek. I'm just using my Pico Toner Timer. And then when I move it back over here to my jaw, I'm gonna turn it down to 30%. Uh, okay, so now I'm just going to hover it over my cheek. And you don't have to press it into the skin. We're just holding it over that cheekbone. So I do feel this, you know, surging through my skin right now. But it's not uncomfortable. I feel the activity. Of the current and you can hover it here in the back half and then you can move it forward and hover it over the front okay we just have about 
30 more seconds. And since we went in with P2 and worked on, you know, getting that hydration into those tissues, stimulating that cellular energy, microcirculation. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it to P1 and we're going to go to, I accidentally changed it from, again, to P1. So that's all right. That's all right. So coming over here and we are going to just hold it over this side for five minutes and I changed it to 30%. As you can see, I just got a nice natural lift on this side. Compared to this side, you see the nice natural lift. just from doing these holds. Now, I don't like to do much lifting on my neck or my forehead because these are muscles that tend to shorten with repetitive movement and make our neck short and create more of those tech neck lines, a lot of neck pain and tension, and then you get more forehead wrinkles within the forehead. But we're just gonna do a little bit of lifting in that area. Okay, a couple more seconds. And I'm gonna switch it to bump it up to 35%. And I'm going to mist my skin and hover here over my buccinator area. About 30 more seconds and then we'll do the cheekbone and then we're going to switch over to the eye on this side then the eye on this side and then we'll end with the forehead okay so now i'm going to come up here on my cheekbone and just hover it Okay, so we just have about 30 more seconds. All right, so now we're gonna do this eye. So I'm just gonna rehydrate the gel and we're gonna take, first I'm gonna turn it down to 30% because we don't wanna go above 300 when we're working under the eye. 
And I'm just gonna take these four and just rest them on my eye. So I have two here in the corner, and then the finger, the first row of the fingers is right here at the arch of my brow. And we're just gonna hold it here for, I'm gonna do 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna rotate to the back half. Okay, I'll do 30 seconds, put resting the rest of the fingers on the outer corner of my eye into my temple. Do 30 seconds here. And the last part of this, I will need to take off my towel and my hair. So I'm just gonna prep that already. Okay, I'm gonna do 30, rotate it back and do 30 seconds on this part. I'm going to switch to 30 seconds right here. Okay. Now we'll do this eye. Oh, I think my husband's gonna come in here now. Rupert Thayer's right. Ay, ay, ay. I told him I was filming. <laughs> He's just gonna have to be quiet and make sure he doesn't get in the view of the camera. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna rotate the back half. Okay, rotate to the front half again. See, this lift treatment is so easy that you don't even need to sit in front of a mirror. You can just do this while you're laying in bed and watching TV. It's so easy. No movements, just holding. Okay, last 30 seconds right here. And then we're gonna move into the forehead. So I need a little bit of my hair out and I didn't do it yet so I can show you guys this treatment because it works really good if your hair is wet. And it will work on stimulating the fascia and the muscles here in the forehead, which stimulate hair growth. Okay, so now we're gonna do the forehead. So I'm just gonna use a, the, what's left over in my gel here and I'm gonna apply it. Now we're gonna take the lift and we're just gonna bring up some circulation on the forehead by going up and down, just like this. All the fingers on the forehead, just moving it up and down, okay? Then we're gonna take the first row right at the crown and have a row here in the hairline. And we're just going to hold it for 30 seconds and we're gonna move it across. The forehead and the hairline.
Okay, just a couple more seconds. Okay, so next I'm gonna place it right here. And then just hold. It's gonna be three spots that we're gonna do. Okay, and then the final spot is right here. Okay, so that completes our P1 Lift and Tone treatment. So I'm gonna turn my Pico Toner off. Now I'm going to take a damp cloth and just lightly wipe off the Lemue O2 Calming Gel. I forgot my Victoria Deanne. Eye serum. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I just wiped that off. Let me go and grab my Victoria Deanne eye serum and I will be right back. Okay, so I got my Victoria Deanne hair serum and I fixed my hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the rest of my skincare. So I'm just taking a half a pump out nine weeks and this is still going strong can you believe it so i'm just applying my eye serum and i'm going to apply it all the way around and make sure you get it out here on the sides and i take what's left over on the roller ball and i put it on around the eyes okay doing a little tapping motion Next, I'm gonna go in with my medium rejuvenator. I take two pumps. And I just work this all the way down to my neck and my chest. I do feel a slight tingle from this. I'm gonna be curious to see what the ultra feels like when it arrives because it's a lot stronger than the medium. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit more and just put it right here on my chest because this one didn't feel like it got, this area didn't feel like it got enough there. All right, so now that that's on my skin, I'm going to go in with my Victoria Dion Night Moisturizer. Take three pumps and apply that on top. And work it into the skin. Take just a half a pump and then work it more into my chest. And then I'm just gonna let this soak into my skin and then I'm going to go do my hair. And then I will come back and we can take a look at my skin after. So I'll see you in a few. Right, so my hair is all done. My skin looks so good. Wow. I Every time I use my Pico Toner with my Jane Man Lift or my Pico Toner with any attachment, I am just always absolutely amazed at my skin. Especially after doing a dermatist treatment, it really helps repair and make your skin feel so good after an aggressive exfoliation like that. Love, love, love. All right, so 
that is pretty much it for this video. I really want to talk to you about something really quick. So as most of you know, I've been struggling with finding the right moisturizer for my skin. So I went into using the Victoria Deanne Collagen Gel. Now this is better for me after I do a super hydrating facial and is best for me in the warmer months when there's more moisture in the air. Right now that it is cold and dry, this does not work out for me as a moisturizer. Now I have been really loving their nighttime moisturizer for my skin in the evening. Last night I did throw on some Osmosis Nourish Oil on top of this and it was perfect. So that's what I will do for this when I feel like it's a little bit, like I need a little bit more moisture. I'm just gonna throw a facial oil on top. I have the Osmosis Immerse and I have the Osmosis Nourish. For my daytime moisturizer, I did pick up the Lemieux 24 hour age defining cream. I had a sample, I don't have it here, but I have a sample, a couple samples of their BioCell rejuvenating cream and I didn't like that for my skin. So I decided to pick up the 24 hour age defying cream and I've tried it the last couple days and I absolutely do not like this for a daytime moisturizer. It just does nothing for my skin for moisture or hydration. A little bit of hydration, it does make my skin look good, but it it's not enough. And I was quite shocked by this because I thought it would be enough, but it is not. So I went back to my Intensive Neogenesis Moisturizer, and I have to say, I do really love this for my daytime moisturizer, and I do love it for a nighttime moisturizer. So I am going to stick with my Neogenesis Intensive Moisturizer, and if I feel like I'm getting like not enough moisture, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a couple drops of facial oil to my skin and apply this over the top, or another thing you can do too is combine it with the Barrier Repair Cream. And actually what I wanted to do this evening is put the Barrier Repair Cream on and then put the Intensive Moisture over the top of it, but I did not. I just, you know, I wasn't thinking because I was feeling rushed because my husband said that he was gonna go for a ride, you know, at a certain time. So I was trying to film to be ready in here so he wouldn't disturb us. But then he changed it on me and decided to go later. So it just didn't really work out in that way. So I just went with what was in front of me and that was the Victoria Deanne Nighttime Moisturizer, which I absolutely love for my skin. So I wanted to point that out to you guys. And you definitely need to check out the Capture Youth Water from Joella Milan. I love this. I never wanna be without it. Just like my Victoria Deanne peptides, I don't want to be without these. I mean, nine weeks in, and can you just believe, can you believe like at how good my skin looks? Like, I think I look at least three years younger than what I did before of using the Deanne, the Victoria Deanne peptides. It's been nine weeks. Let's see what happens within the next three weeks and go from there, but I don't wanna be without these peptides and I have no desire to try any other product on my skin. I'm so happy with what these are doing for my skin. I just have to make sure that I'm using the right moisturizers for my skin during this time. So for Black Friday, what's really on my list is to stock up on my Color Science uh, SPFs and some Neogenesis Intensive Moisturizer and my Lemieux Sheet Mask. I want to get those Bio Needle Sheet Mask, the ones for the under eyes. Maybe a forehead one too, because I think that those would be really lovely to use with the Victoria Dan peptides. Yeah, so I got those on my list. And as far as anything else, um, I'm, I have a few products from Virtue. And that's pretty much it. If Joella has a Black Friday sale, I'm definitely going to stock up on my Capture Youth Water so you guys pay attention for your Victoria Dion peptides. I'm not sure if she'll have a sale on these, but, you know, just, you know, pay attention just in case she does. Oralift is having their biggest sale they've ever had for Black Friday, so stay tuned for that. It's only going to be a short sale. So for those of you who haven't gotten an Oralift, 
or you need a replacement kit, it would be the best time to pick it up. And I did do some damage at Sephora. I picked up some new makeup. So I did not do a Sephora, you know, recommendations video because there's so many of them out there. Well, you'll, you're going to get, you know, more uh, advice from, you know, true makeup artists versus myself because I'm not a makeup artist. But I did do some damage and I'm going to share it with you. One thing I will let you know is I picked up the Hourglass Veil Skin Hydrating Skin Tint. I tried that on my hand at Sephora and I really liked the feel of it. It seemed very hydrating and it's more like... It's a great skin tint to use for this time of year. I think if you have, if your skin is feeling dehydrated compared to the rose ink, it feels more moisturizing. So I did try it on my hand. I didn't pick it up because they didn't have the shade. It's kind of hard to figure out what your shade is in that. So I hope I picked up the right one. So that's going to come in. And once that comes in, I will do a Sephora haul video and a try on because I did pick up quite a few things. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> All right. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, I apologize for it being jumbled. If I was a little slow, I'm a little bit off these days and I can't wait for my new Jane Man lift unit to get here and share it with you guys. All right, I will see you in the next one. I'm sending you all so much love and light and happy Halloween. Bye.